All right, folks, it's your boy Johnny Boy with another video. Um, I just want to let you all know this is a video for the government. Um, when when I seen uh, lights in the clouds, I went to go take a um, I went to take a video of it, and it wouldn't let me. And I had plenty of storage, but when I would go into my house, I could take a video of something else, and it would let me. And then I would go back out to take a video of the lights, the weird lights that I thought were UFOs in the clouds. And every time I would point my camera there. It would not let me record. So in my opinion, I'm thinking the government um, is not wanting us to record that shit. And if you're wondering why there's no clear evidence of aliens, it's because the government's not letting us record when we see it. It takes it away, is what's not, what I believe. Um, which I guess I understand. They don't want people freaking out. But um, that's, that's what I honestly believe. And then here's another situation that I just got in. I had just, uh, I was going... Um, I was trying to get this girl to understand uh, we voted differently, you know, and I was trying to get her to see the bigger message. And I wrote this whole message, um, this message that that's right here. I wrote this down in the DMs. And as soon as I finished writing it, and um, as soon as I finished writing it, uh, before I was about to press send, it magically deleted. And it, I first thought was like, wow, government again, they don't want us people to unite because with that message, I believe we were uniting. Um, I'm trying to unite people, and that's not what they want. So me writing this message is a sign of peace and unity. And like I said, as soon as I was pre press send, they, they took it away. So I, I rewrote it here so I could know my thoughts, and then I could put it back again. And uh, as soon as I did rewrite it to this girl, um, she didn't even like it either. She just fucking blocked my ass. So I was like, wow, that just proves my point that these people are fucking brainwashed because we shouldn't judge each other based off who we vote on. Um, if we do that, then we're losing and the government's winning because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to separate um, people in any way they can, uh, whether it's race, sexuality, religion. Uh, and I think every, we've all come to an understanding in America that we don't care about that shit. Uh, I mean, at least me personally, I judge people off of vibes and their actions. I don't care about any of that shit. We're all we're all one race. We're all human beings. We all bleed. And uh, I think people agree with me on that. And, um, yeah, so this is, if you want to read this while I'm talking, this is, like, some of the message I was writing. I think it's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, no, I just had to record this video because this is, um, this is the second time it's happened. The first time, it was what I seen, lights in the clouds, the, I couldn't record. I think that was the government. Second, I tried to write this message of unity, uh, during the elections to just pretty much say, you know, we're all one people. I'm not, you shouldn't judge people based off who they vote for because um, if you do that, then you're a shitty person. You could disagree and, and have communication and talk back and forth. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to communicate as human beings. If you can't communicate on um, politics or, 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 um, or subjects of any matter, and if you're going to get mad and you can't, um, you can't at least disagree, agree to disagree, and you're going to get mad, then, then you're being brainwashed to the highest degree because that's all we can do is communicate. If you're just going to have not be open-minded and not listen to both sides, then uh, that's probably the definition of brainwashing, man. You people are being brainwashed, all of you. Well, not all of you. Some, some of you people are smart enough not to fall into it, but a lot of people are being brainwashed. I'm going to be real. Um, yeah, and it's really sad because, um, like I said, the government erased my message because I, I was like, wow, they're tr they don't want us to unite. And and then, so I wrote it down in here so I, I could permanently have it. They can't erase my pages. They could erase my phone. Well, they could erase my messages on my phone. But they can't erase um, uh, my pages. And I have nothing wrong with it against the government. You know, I love the government. They keep us safe, I guess. Um, but at the same time, I think it's good. And I think they would appreciate me as, as a young man, as a young patriot, proud of my country. They, they would respect me at least bringing this to the people i mean uh i don't have a huge platform or anything but i do like speaking on it i believe i am a philosopher of this time not that i get paid for it or anything but i do this out of the joy of my heart i feel like i'm making the world a better place by doing it and uh yeah i hope the government's okay with this if government i know you're listening and uh please don't kill me <laughs> no i'm just playing but no, I, ho I hope y'all are cool with this because I, I know the government can understand at least you know you Hey, government, I fuck with you a little bit. And you know I am trying to do, do that USPS job, so I will be working for the government, all right? So I got no problems with you. It's just really the two people at the top who are controlling the stuff. It's not necessarily the government. It's a certain group of people who are really controlling everything. 
that's who I disagree with. And uh, I hope y'all can understand. I think y'all understand. Even if you are the people I'm talking about, like the elites. If you're the elite listening to this, come on, man. You you can understand, man. Y'all can fuck with me, right? If you can't, just, that's okay. Um, I don't want to expose too much. You know, I don't want to be the whistleblower. I'm just, this is just a little, this is, you know, I'm not going to be on that radar for this, man. This is just a little, little piece that I'm doing. You know, this is nothing much. But yeah, let me just read this off to finish off. So I was going back and forth with this girl on Instagram. Um, and I was trying, I was hoping, I was a hundred, I'm going to be real. I was a hundred percent sure that she was going to completely agree with me. I mean, not agree with my political views, but she was going to agree on the stuff that I'm saying that we should, should unite and not judge each other based off uh, our votes. And, and the, that's what the government wants. And she actually blocked me. And like I said, um, I was not expecting that. And I was like, wow, that's when I realized, man, people are really fucking brainwashed out here. I mean, this shit is uh, like, I almost want to laugh at it, but it's actually way more scary, way more scary than it is funny. It's actually very scary um, that people are being brainwashed to this degree. And, uh, you know, I'm just one person and I hope more people will start coming out and start coming out, telling shit how it is, you know, um, come out to social media come out to Facebook, come out to, uh, Instagram and, um, um, and tell your, tell, um, your piece, like your political, not your political views. Um, but just come on out and just say, um, that we should all unite as one is, is basically what I'm saying. And just don't be afraid to not, don't be afraid to post on social media is what I'm saying. Just do it. Um, cause they're, I don't think they're as restrictive as they used to be and we still have a voice, you know? So yeah, just, uh, do that. And uh, yeah, let me read this real quick. So I was talking to this girl, she's one for Kamala, uh, which I don't have a problem with, but I did want to try to speak some common sense into her. And, uh, I call, I, I told her, I, I said, um, yeah, I'm not going to judge you based on who you vote for. I actually respect you even more for at least, commu for at least having the conversation and listening to me. And I said all that. And I said, she's a wonderful human being. And uh, I really want the best for the human race. And I said all this and she blocked me. So I'm going to read this and tell me what y'all think uh, of her blocking me. I think that that was a uh, I think she just proved my point by blocking me. And uh, yeah, she's been brainwashed, which was sucks. But let me, let me just read this real quick. I said, I understand completely. She was just saying, um, telling her side. She didn't uh, she disagreed. I understand completely. That's OK. We can agree to disagree. I'm fine with that. The only thing that I will say is don't watch the news because it's all fake and don't believe in any of the rhetoric that they spew. I base my opinions off my own research that I've done and I've always, uh, I always tell people to do the same. That way, everything that I know is based off my own knowledge and not influenced by the fake news or anywhere for that matter. They are brainwashing people to the highest degree. I will say that again. They are brainwashing people to the highest degree. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. All right. And then we have, do you know why they have two political parties? The reason being is because the government is trying to separate humans in as many ways as they can. So we can't come together and fight back. It's spiritual warfare, all right? And and these are all facts, by the way, people. These aren't, this is not me guessing here, people. These are pure facts. This is exactly what's going on here. And you could just, you could either understand or you could not understand. But I really hope you watch this video enough times to where you understand. So you people are on the same page, all right? We can't give in. We must unite together as humans. I don't think any less of you based on who you vote for. Matter of fact, I respect you even more. For at least having the conversation and listening to me even though you disagree you're a real woman for that and there's the part that i was talking about earlier if we were mad at each other based on who we voted for then we would both lose and they win because that's what they want and remember communication is key all right here we go um and you're wrong shoot all right and this this is the part this is me responding to her she said um um that we are not one the same one. That is the dumbest shit she could have said. No offense. And I said, lastly, you were you were wrong. We are one and the same. We are the human race. 
we all bleed. I don't judge people based off religion, sexuality, race, or any of that. I judge people based off their vibes and actions, just as so as everybody else should. And her name is Kobe, and I said, I think you are a wonderful person, Kobe. And I didn't write this part, but I wanted to write this for the video. How can people hate someone that they don't even know personally? Talk, that's talking about Trump. You, you realize how many people hate Trump and they don't even know him personally? That's because people are buying all this fake rhetoric on the news and shit, man. I mean, what the fuck? I'm, I don't, I would consider myself an independent, even though my views are really pretty much all Republican, like I will say. I mean, the abortion shit, I, I, I believe they should allow abortion. Um, and, and that, that's actually fake news that they said they would discontinue abortion. That's, you can't even legally change that. We're, well, at least I believe. I don't have the full knowledge on that, so I'm not going to say that. This, I believe that you can't get rid of abortion because that's, that was a law that was put in place a long time ago. Could be wrong, but I've had, my grandma told me the same thing and I had some people tell me that, that that's fake. And, uh, yeah, I have, I have a mother, I have sisters. I, uh, if they were, if they needed an abortion, I would want them to get an abortion. Um, you know, but, um, we still, you know, that if whatever way you vote, it's not going to take away that. And even if it did take away from the state, you could go to another state and get an abortion. Long story short, but I don't want to get too much into that. All right. Cause that's really deviating from the topic. Um, lastly, yeah, we pretty much finished up here. Lastly, I'll go ahead and say, um, yeah, just be aware, make sure you have a third eye, do your own research. And, uh, I, I'll be real with you. It's it's very scary out here. I've seen the next generation of kids, and it's fucking scary, man. These kids, they're pushing these agendas on these kids, and and I've seen this from firsthand experience. This shit is scary as fuck, man. These kids are going down the wrong fucking road, and it's up it's up to me and other people who are out there trying to make the world a better place to to make these people figure it out, man. Make these people figure it out because this shit's. Thank goodness uh, we got we got the man that we need in office for 2024. So it's, it's already going to get better. The economy is going to be better, booming than it ever was. That's a promise. I don't, it's not something I think. That's a promise. Today is, uh, I believe today is November 7th, 2023. So mark my words, today is November 7th, 2020. So I mean 2024. Sorry, today is 2024. So um, look at the gas prices. Look at the economy. Look at uh, housing market. Look at the car market. Um, look at the interest rates. Look at the insurance rates. Look at it all at this day, November 7th, 2024. And when Trump gets in office, I can guarantee you that the gas prices will go down. The economy will go down. The housing market will go down. The car market will go down. The groceries will go down. Interest rates will go down. Insurance rates will go down. Everything will go back to as it was. Because as we know... History always repeats itself, all right? So let me say that again. History always repeats itself. And uh, I always feel like I should be a teacher. I don't necessarily want to teach in a school, but I do want to teach people uh, my life philosophies and, and my views on life because I, pe I think uh, people can really learn from it. And matter of fact, I don't think I know people can learn from it. There's not enough... There's not enough fuck, I can't talk, man. This shit's pissing me the fuck off, but sorry. Um... Anyway, there's not enough leaders out there. There's too many followers. Obviously, if you're, if you're a leader like myself, you need the followers. But I'm just saying the ratio from leaders to followers is not good. We need more leaders and less followers. I'm glad to be a leader. I am a leader. I've always been a leader. But we need more leaders. There's too many followers. I'm a trendsetter. Everything I do, people do two weeks later. I know. I've noticed they do it every time. And I'm, flat, I'm highly flattered because imitation is the highest form of flattery. And, um, yeah, we need more people doing what I'm doing. And I'll finish up by saying this is a long-ass fucking video. I didn't know it was going to be this long. But lastly, I would say um, no matter who you vote for, it, it's good to communicate. And we can disagree and agree, but it's, you at least have to have the conversation. If, you can't, if you're not willing to have the conversation, uh, then that means you're not willing to have an open mind. And if you're not willing to have an open mind, well, that, that means you're just stuck in delusion and uh, brainwashed. So... Like I said, it all starts with, with uh, communication. And uh, I, I believe, I really, it's it's a scary for the future, but I really believe that there's enough people. We're going to make a change. And uh, we will make this world a better world. Once again, it's your boy, Johnny Boy, on the scene. And I'm out.